switching gears now. Why were you fired? A tough question to answer, but our etiquette experts going to help us come up with uh, how you can answer that one. You're watching Good Day Austin on Fox 7. Okay, why were you fired? That's a question we are asking uh, today with etiquette expert Diane Godsman, author and etiquette expert mm -hmm. Diane Godsman, as we welcome you in. Modern Etiquette for a Better Life, a brand new book. Channeling my inner, there it is. Yes, oh, I put it, it right. I put it right next to you. If they take that other camera, it's like you and the book. There it is, right there. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank uh, you very much. Way out. So many of the tips that you've given to us over the years and other topics that have come up. Again, it's a little pocket manual, so mm -hmm. people can always easy. Yeah. Have the right. I'm gonna <laughs> take it. Every guys time. like me need the put right. Put it in your etiquette. pocket. Uh, and, and today we're talking about a, a topic that uh, can be kind of touchy. Frankly, a lot of people have been fired. A lot of people in, in our line of work have been yes. fired. Yes. And we this again, we got this topic because we've had some viewer requests to talk about it. So mm -hmm. I think this is the best time. And has anybody here on this couch been fired <laughs> besides me? Oh. <laughs> I've been fired. Uh, not yet. Well, would you no, like to share with the group? <laughs> yeah, let me lie on the couch. Yeah. So you, years ago, years ago, I I used to put I I applied for this job while I was going to college, and they fired me after two weeks because I was not doing a great job, and it was putting batteries in pagers. Okay, oh, you know man. that was yeah. my. But it just was not working for me. I didn't like the job. Mm -hmm. They did not didn't like me. Like working with those batteries. But those batteries were not fit. But but the point is, you know, I think that when you have had a mishap of some sort, mm -hmm. sometimes. Sometimes it's your fault, sometimes it's not. This is important to talk about because we yeah. get laid off, yeah. they, uh, companies downsize, right. or it's just not a fit. Right. I like those pagers. Whether it's, your, <laughs> whether it's your fault or not, the reality is for most people, they're not in a financial position where they can quit. they got to go find something else. Mm -hmm. And the question could come up with yes. the next prospective employer. So, so what, here are our points. Okay, what do we say? Okay, so our first point is just think about what you're going to say before mm -hmm. you go in. So just don't go in thinking you're going to wing it. Think about how you're going to broach it. If they ask you, they're going to see your resume. There might be a gap. So make some points so you mm -hmm. can talk about those points. And then the second thing is when you're going to put out your resume, you don't want to just put this reference out knowing that that person that just fired you is going to talk to them, perhaps, yeah. you know, potentially. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to put it, you don't have to give a reference list unless they ask. Mm -hmm. And if they do, make sure you're giving references that are going to give you a positive, yeah. <laughs> right. positive feedback. By the way, that's a good tip even if you haven't been fired. <laughs> yeah. When you're applying yeah. for new so jobs, about yes. you know, who are your fans? And, yeah. Yeah, put and, your and fans that on is there. your clients. You know, mm -hmm. even if you have been let go at, for something that wasn't a fit, you're going to have some fans that are going to be able to speak to your your qualities that are good. You know, don't give your mother, don't give your cousin, right. you know, but but somebody who mother has credible <laughs> credible no mother, feedback. No yeah. Yes. Uh, own it. Again, sometimes maybe you did make a legitimate mistake. The firing was justified. You're going to have to talk about that. They, I guess they want to see that personal responsibility. They want because that's going to show character. Mm -hmm. I believe that any mishap, any mistake, you learn something from, yeah. unless you're blaming someone else yeah. and blaming your boss and you know saying negative things about fellow employees. So you did it. It did not work for you. It wasn't a fit. For, for example, so I was. This is not me, but you know, perhaps you're in sales, and you know, sales was just not a fit for mm -hmm. me. I tried it for three months. It was. It was a mutually agreed upon uh, thought that maybe I need to go elsewhere, mm -hmm. and that's why I'm here with you because I really am interested in working with people, you know, mm -hmm. in the back end. So, so just you know, you can spin it and make it honest. Yeah. Again, make it honest. The next tip is be honest about it. Don't say you know, don't make up stories and don't skip it. Mm -hmm. If there's a big gap. They're going to want to know where you were. So what were you, you doing were? from 2005 <laughs> to 2011? Yeah, where are you? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you can't say yeah. that. No. Again, <laughs> things, things like that, know that these things are probably going to come up mm -hmm. during the course of the interview. I guess if some of them don't, Good for you. And but stick, go in knowing that yeah. they're going to no, come up. And there. stick to your talking points. So yeah. you've already written them out in advance. You already know what you're about to say. Don't go off script, in other words. You know, they're going to ask you some questions, but bring it back to why you are a good fit for that company. Mm -hmm. You have qualities that they want, or you wouldn't be sitting there in front of them. Yeah, but now talking points, but then also you might need to be ready for the unexpected a little bit, too. So yes. you kind of mix and match between those things that get a question that kind of throws you. Some interviewers want to ask questions that kind of throw you off your game a and, little bit. And be careful. Yeah. Because you have to think. You have to be able to think on your feet. Mm -hmm. And again, this is not the time to throw somebody else under the bus. Uh, own it. 
I, I was, this was something that I learned from. It's an experience that helped me grow, and I feel like I can bring this experience to yeah. your company. And These, I can put those batteries in your pager, and <laughs> <laughs> now I know how to work those batteries. <laughs> I just want you to be on the way out the door, like, pagers are not going to be around much longer. Get out of here. These that are ages me. Yeah. <laughs> the employer may appreciate, though, your honesty and that you had this learning experience. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And the flip side of that is, in this day and age, people are going to find out. That, You're hiring. Uh, I mean, don't think, yes. uh, a lot of times they're probably asking uh, to agree questions they already know the answer to. They want some, maybe some clarification from they're you. They're testing you, yeah. perhaps, and they also want to know your thoughts, you know, your spin on it. So you're going to be a better employee because you've learned some lessons along the way. Wonderful. Well, we have learned Very so many lessons advice. from yeah. you. Once again, modern etiquette for a better life. So many different tips for all different life situations with Diane Gottsman. <laughs> we appreciate it. Thank you for our copies. You. You're welcome. We will I'll set about to read it. Okay. And we'll be right back.